which components or capabilities do we need to have in the architecture available to enable a capability? Now, this slide is really intended to say there's a lot of components. If you're looking at a cloud, hybrid cloud, or multi-cloud architecture, you have new components in the data architecture side. For example, a data lake might be new for you. Data hubs uh, could be the breakdown of your data warehouses and data marts. Um, data labs are those uh, self-service analytic workbenches, and even a data marketplace. Um, another term for data catalogs, right? So. Right there, there are four pieces of a new modern data architecture. Um, they all have their strengths. It's all built on polyglot persistence and other methodologies that you know you, you get to understand. But you set up your architecture, and either way, you have components. You're going to have integration components in the cloud, you know, from data pipelines to streaming data hubs to data replication. Orchestration is a big challenge uh, once we move to the cloud. So once again, if you're an on-prem BI team and building, even if you have a Hadoop cluster and, and a pretty sophisticated BI environment, moving to the cloud architecture, what is my SaaS uh, service offerings? What are my platform as a service offerings? How do I take advantage of elastic scalability, hybrid multi-cloud situations, or even serverless functions? All of that is, chances are, going to be very new for you. Um, throw that on top of a mix of variety of database technologies, data management, because uh, data ops is continuing to gain traction, and we're really uh, strengthening data governance and quality programs. Good to see. Data management is solid as part of your strategy. And then, of course, you know what does it mean to be in a data science platform? So that is a strategy in itself. So. Here, from an architecture perspective, I've mapped out six different strategies at a high level that are going to be, you know, brought to your attention as you adopt and migrate to your cloud. So you want to move to the cloud quickly. Um, that's accepted. What my point is that there's a lot to do. So we have to break this down. We have to find a way to, we can't run off for a year and say, we're going to go build this and, and we'll come back in a year. What we have to do is we have to continue to deliver value to the business via our projects and inject architecture as part of that. So architecture is always going to be evolving. That's the new mindset, right? Speed, deliver something to the business the agile way is the most critical point, but then iteratively um, evolve that, improve that, refactor that. You know, one of the things that's hard for a lot of companies we've seen is um, building something that, hey, I should be building it a different way. It's like, well, let's take incremental steps that also build up your maturity and your proficiency with certain technologies. You know, I, I can look at a project and say, half of the components in here are new and you have no experience at, other than, you know, what you've read and studied. So nothing can replace that hands-on experience. And we have to allow that in the architecture. Cost is going to be fixed. Um, so let's not you know, worry about that too much. You have so many teams. You have so many resources. Um, you have only so much budget. You can only absorb so much technology in that way. But quality doesn't change. Anytime we deliver any small solution, it is going to be a quality production worthy solution. It's just that we need to shift and you know, maintain our speed, but shift our scope. 